Gonzalez e o Foco não vem nos usar com o Foco Tio. Ele foca o pico dele, ele não mora com o
And then it's all, it's all embarrassing. I have to stand the bus stop and tell you to stop. Mommy. I can come with you. I can come with you. My father said, well, I just kept my head. Like, not perfectly. I feel like I just broke down, mentally broke down. Have you guys seen that? You guys witnessed the doctor questioning it. My parents nodded at him. You've had a mental breakdown? You guys need to like start going to store with me. Because as you can see, Tariq is not going to tell me. But before I even could, I noticed something that really surprised me. Casey's such a bitch. You can only take shots from your hair as nice. You see if her hair wasn't nice up? In a different situation, I probably would have been happy to see those cool Let me make sure her hair seems rugged so he won't close the hospital. My arm was very cool. Is piece of Shanti's here? She'll help you. She'll go. My arm was several shades darker than mine. How was that even possible? I demanded answers from my parents. But you said you're not perfect in the way you had to do it. And if I want to go, I'll go. And if I call the bitch, and if I call the bitch, Mark, he's not going to fucking kill me. He explained that the situation was urgent. And then I was transferred to the last of the next city. And he was a disrespectful bitch. And he doesn't believe in my anxiety. He doesn't believe in anything. And you guys see me go through it. I was paralyzed by shock. I lost my arm. I need to get rid of that. And it's someone else's arm in. The doctor was saying it's so common, like I'm just about a routine flu shot. I screamed, angry, and helpless. My parents tried to calm me down, but I was just so upset. After watching for a moment, the doctor pressed his button. Something big, and I suddenly felt the urge to go to sleep. When I next opened my eyes, it was morning. My father gave me a stern look, and my mother, sitting next to me, explained everything to me one more time. I looked over at her, I didn't scream this time. It finally dawned on me just how much pain I had brought to my family and how grateful I should be to the doctors for what they did. After lunch, we went to the hospital. It turns out I needed to do a set of exercises to get my new arm to start working normally. We do a color die. Color die. We went to the hospital half a day, almost every day. My arm was getting stronger. We're going to use smudge to like place it in the tissues. I was right arm, and I've never strained my left arm like this before. But it seems strange to me that my new arm was actually a little larger than my left. The veins were a little larger too, which made the tattoos on my arm look even more ominous. In general, I have nothing to complain about until one funny incident happened, after which a lot of very unfunny things happened. In the morning, I had my breakfast with my parents. We had my mother sing at the cheesecake. As soon as I took a piece, my right arm jerked it to my face. My whole face was covered in cheese, which made my father laugh and my mother look at me with displeasure. I apologized and tried to ignore it. That day at school also didn't pass without any trouble. In drawing lessons, he was just sitting in pairs. I happened to be sitting with the most beautiful girl at the school, Cindy. I really like her, but I am by nature very shy. The guy who donated his arm, though, seems to have been a different type of person. After all, when Cindy and I were sitting next to each other, my right hand just put itself on her knee. I swear I didn't want it to. I would have never dared to do anything like that. Cindy gave me a stern look and smacked me on the arm. I quickly pulled my hand away. Not only did it hurt, but I was also ashamed. For the rest of the lesson, I pretended that it hadn't happened. When I got home after school, I was so hungry that I forgot about all the weird things that had happened. When I opened the refrigerator door, I found it completely empty. It was about an hour's walk to the store, so walking was not an option at all. I went to the garage. Mom's car was parked inside after the accident. I was afraid to get on the wheel, but for what? I was insanely hungry. And for another, I had to face my fear someday. With that in mind, I got into the car and started it up. At first, it was scary to drive, but then I got used to it, and after a couple of minutes, I was so relaxed that I was holding the steering wheel with just my right hand. When I was approaching the supermarket, I had to turn, and when I tried, my hand refused to obey me for some reason, and I drove through the turn. 
I wanted to drive a little further and turn around, but my hand rebelled again. It jerked the steering wheel to the left, then to the right, turning sharply and frightening the cars around me. When I tried to take my right hand off the steering wheel, my fingers dug in even harder. I grabbed the steering wheel with my left hand, twisted the steering wheel to the left, and sharply pulled the car on the left shoulder, cutting off a couple of drivers before that and almost getting into another accident. I pulled up onto the side of the road. I was scared to start driving again, and I had to call my dad to keep him get me and the car. I had hope. I already heard you watching it on your phone. I was trying to watch it while I was going through it. She was talking about the baby in the belly or something. Yeah. I know. I know, you said that. Well, that's not too far from now. I get to the shirt. That looks nice. I actually like that. Okay. I like how it's like a spire. Oh, yeah, it's okay. It's, um, oh, I'm sorry. It's okay, it's okay. You can still talk. Okay. Wake one up to an amazing start to his birthday. As you guys know, I do not play when it comes to birthdays, especially my baby's birthday, because he is just the most amazing man I have ever met in my entire life. I say that all the time. It's really hard to put into words how much I love and appreciate him. So I try to show him every single day how much I appreciate him, but especially on his birthday. So you guys already know your girl went all out. Like, wait until you guys see everything that I've done. I know you guys see a little bit in the background on right now, but that's not even half of it. I can't wait to show you guys how hard I worked to put this all together and just to surprise Kwan on his special day. And baby, I just want to give you a little message before we hop into today's video from both me and your baby boy that's growing up in my belly right now. We both love you so much. You show us. Remember, the guy is born, but he's still dangerous. I'm the girl. From the twisted minds behind Dunsbury. 
you show us the most unconditional love ever. Even now, I know that our son can feel your love because it's just overwhelming. Every single night, you talk to him all day long, kissing my belly. Like, you're just the most loving person that I've ever met. Juan is the most selfless person ever. Like, literally, he will give you his last just to put a smile on your face. And that's something that I've always admired about Juan is how big his heart is. Like, you guys get to see the good sides of Juan and everything, but he's literally like that. Like, I just wish all of you guys could meet him one day because he's just such a good spirited person and he just has nothing but good intentions, especially for his loved ones. But with all that being said, I know that he is going to be the most amazing father ever. This is his first birthday being a daddy and he is so excited. He actually told me the only gift that he wanted this year was his baby boy. But you guys already know he deserves much more than that. I know I'm giving him the greatest gift of all time and he tells me every day, but still, I just wanted to make his birthday super special. So babe, I could go on and on about you. You already know what it is. We are right here always. I love you to the moon and back. You are my best friend and I will continue to do everything in my power to make your day super special and every day moving forward so everything that I did for you today was just to show a little bit of my appreciation and I hope you have the best birthday ever I love you so much baby boy loves you so much and we are so blessed to have you a part of our lives so we're about to hop into this video I hope you guys enjoy let's get into it so it's two days before Shaquan's birthday and we're already trying to get all the decorations together because this is a lot of work so my family here Majesty, my mom over there, clean, blowing up a bunch of balloons, and we're making this balloon arch right now. Okay, guys, so it is the day before Pong's birthday, and I'm currently up at Super Can I walk so you, John? 10 p.m. So the birthday is actually in two hours, but I'm trying to get a head start on all the decorations that I have prepared for him because it's a lot, you guys, and I low key went in. I got so many things custom made. I can't wait to show you guys like how everything is gonna come okay. together. I hope it comes together and comes to life. Okay. And I think it's going to in my head, but I have everything right here. I have a whole bunch of stuff, so I'm just gonna show you guys like me putting everything together. Luckily, I had help because as you guys know, I am since I pregnant, so if I had to do all this on my own, I don't Talking think I could. It. So my family had to help me. And you guys saw the tip of when we were filling oh. up, like, all the balloons for the yesterday. Nala! Hours, but yeah, so You're making something to eat? Decorating. I really just wanted him to be able to wake up to everything in the morning because in the morning, I have a couple more things to do. I have to pick up, like, his cake okay. and that stuff. So, yeah. Then I get into it, and I'm so excited. I love doing stuff like this, and I'm trying to go all out with my baby. You guys know he deserves it. So, yeah, let's get into it. <laughs> Okay, you guys, so it is the next day. It is the day of my baby's birthday, and he's just inside the apartment chilling right now. As you guys saw last night, I pretty much set everything up, and then I was up to like 1 30 or 2 a.m., something like that. It was a lot of work, but I am so happy with how it came out. You guys haven't seen it yet, but I'm gonna show you guys that shortly. I'm low key an event planner, you guys, okay? That could probably be my side hustle, but it is so much more work than you would think. So I'm actually on my way to pick up Juan's birthday cake, and then when I get back, we're gonna get into surprising him and just making his birthday super special. So I just got back to the apartment. I have the cake. I got some cupcakes also. So are you guys ready to see my little birthday set up for Quan? I am literally so impressed with myself. I think it came out so beautifully because I planned everything. I got everything customized on my own and I'm just surprised that it actually came together how I envisioned. So I'm really happy with it. Make sure you guys pay attention to the details because it's the details for me, okay? I really went off. 